Choose backgrounds that actually make sense. Hi, Taylor here, Financial Potion, where video is your financial potion. And to never miss out on a video, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and then click on the bell so you're notified every Friday at 5 p.m. Arizona time that a new video has been posted. For one-to-one -one training or to support our content, please click above and connect with us on our Patreon page. Whether you're using Zoom or you're in a studio and you're using a green screen, you wanna make sure that you select backgrounds that make sense. And so, for example, I'm standing here right now. I'm in a studio and I could just have a studio background. I could have my logo in the background. I can just do a solid color or a gradient and that is perfectly fine. However, if you want to look like you're realistically in a scene, realistically on the beach, realistically in a high class office, then you need to make sure that you select a background that has the same angle as how you're recording yourself. So standing versus sitting, those are completely different angles. And you wanna make sure that you're selecting the background that has that same angle so you do realistically look in there. For example, if I wanted to have the beach background and I had a bunch of water in the back and it looked like I was just floating in the water or standing in the water, that wouldn't make any sense. And so make sure that you really think about the angles and what's really being shown in these backgrounds to then put yourself in that scene. If you have any questions about this topic, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below and share some of your funniest backgrounds that you've seen that just don't make any sense.